A lot of people struggle with giving sexual feedback. So I want to give you a few ideas for when you're with your partner and you're struggling with, I'm not interested in what we're doing, or I don't like what we're doing sexually, but I'm really wanting to tell them a little more about what, what I want, what I want in the bedroom. So first things first, um, the redirect is a really good skill. Essentially, instead of telling somebody what not to do, you're trying to guide them towards what you want to do. So that might sound like, say they're, say they're like touching you in one spot, like again and again and again, and you're like, it's driving you nuts. Okay, instead of sitting through that and continuing to sit through that, you would, you would kind of grab their hand and say, hey, how about we try this in a different way? Can you touch me over here? Or I'd really love it if you moved from that spot for a bit. That's called the redirect. Essentially, you're not telling them stop or don't do this or I hate this. You are moving them towards something that would feel a little better. And here's the key with this. You don't have to know what's going to feel better. It's all a crapshoot, but you're essentially trying to move them towards something that might be a little less annoying there and more positive feeling. So that's one way that you can you can do it. It's just verbally telling them, try this here. There's also a fun nonverbal redirect that you can do, which is where you actually place their hands or place them in a different way, or you take control, for example. So instead of, um, if you, you struggle with verbally communicating, you can actually move their hand from here over here, or you can take them and say, hey, I wanna, I wanna take control here and show you what I can do. Um, and so those are all different ways that you can kind of give feedback in the moment and then another one that I want you to really think of is giving feedback out of the sexual experience. So everybody kind of thinks of it in terms of in the moment, I have to tell them right this moment or I've kind of lost my chance. But that's not really true. There are like sometimes you don't realize you don't like something or you're not comfortable with something until after you've had some time to think about it. And so what you can do is give yourself a day or two to kind of explore like what, what, what about that experience sexually did I like or not like? And instead, um, and then that next day, um, talk to them a little bit about, hey, you know, I realize I really like it when you touched me in this way, but um, for some reason, just that one touch was getting a little too much for me. So can we, we avoid touch over there and just focus over here? Um, but like, I really do discourage you from giving like negative feedback right after a sexual encounter has occurred because we, you know, you've already, you're already in a moment of like bliss or I'm hoping you <laughs> if not, then we have another discussion we need to have. But in that moment, I want you to be able to relish and enjoy that experience. And so it's not to say that you can't give feedback, but I would encourage you to give like the feedback right after sexual experiences, just give it a day or so other than if it's positive feedback. So anyhow, this has been Angela Skirtu. Please like and subscribe. And if you do want to uh, visit me. You can find me at www.therapistinstlouis.com. Please submit a contact form. Thank you.